Now, no matter what sort of aquarium you've got, it's really advisable to be aware of the red field ratio. And what the red field ratio does is basically allow you an understanding of the amount of organic carbon versus nitrogen versus phosphorus to allow the breakdown or absorption of nitrate and phosphate. So what does this mean to you? If you have an aquarium that is accumulating nitrate or phosphate, then if you get your carbon, nitrogen, nit we'll call it nitrate and phosphate in ratio, then you'll find that um, it all magically disappears. So in order to understand what's going on, what we need to do is have 106 parts of carbon to 16 parts of nitrogen to one part of phosphorus and then the red field ratio will magically take care of it so how do you do this so if you can test your water and you can find out what your nitrate level is and you can find out what your phosphate level is then you've got a chance of um, getting this right. Now, if you've got a dosing pump, this is super easy. If you don't have a dosing pump, this is a pain in the neck because it's all about creating consistency. And creating consistency without a um, dosing pump is possible, but not on my watch. I'm too inconsistent. So um, it's really worth jumping on this page and just having a bit of a read but basically it's a matter of setting your dosing pump or setting a, do a dosing routine to basically allow the um, formation of this particular um, ratio so the fish waste is going to give us the nitrate and phosphate and the um, there's various products on the market which will increase organic carbon there are some products for fresh water, um, such as Easy Carbo by Easy Life and Nopox by Red Sea for salt water. So if you get an organic carbon product and then you put it on your dosing pump, then you need to play with your levels until you get the red field ratio right. Now, when you get the red field ratio right, you'll know because magically all your levels just start disappearing. If you don't have your ratio right, then then that just won't happen so a lot of people will use carbon dosing and it's a wonderful way of getting rid of nitrate in most circumstances it does seem to get rid of the nitrate but often people will use carbon dosing and the nitrate just goes down but the phosphate does not go down so if you want to get the phosphate down you've got to actually get your red field ratio right so there is actually various ways of doing this one is by increasing the amount of livestock in the tank and that would drive up your um, nitrate level if you needed it to um, otherwise you can use various absorbing medias just to say temporarily get your phosphate level down um, until your red field ratio kicks in so it is something that you need a little bit of experimenting with um, and it is something that um, is relatively new to the aquarium industry so this is information that we're sort of just playing around and adopting now. So if you um, are aware of it, then you can start learning about it. And when you do get it right, it is really magical. Because just by putting some organic carbon on a dosing pump, you find that um, your nitrates and phosphates just magically disappear whereas if you don't get your nitrate or you don't get your red, red field ratio right you'll find that um you're constantly having problems particularly with phosphate so anyway um if you can add to this your experience with the red field ratio if you can put a little note on the bottom of this video what have you done that um helped you to um to fix this problem so there are also sort of nitrogen-based products, particularly for freshwater that you can use.
because um, you need to raise your nitrate levels in order to get your phosphate levels down, which sounds a bit counterproductive. But um, understanding this is, is really worth it. So if you can, put a little note on the bottom of this video. Um, have you heard of it before? Is this new to you? Or have you um, mastered this? And what tips have you got to help other people master the red field ratio? Don't forget to subscribe.